Let us enter into the word. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out immediately, took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Our theme today is Give Hope a Chance. When we open up ourselves to the gift of hope that is given to us at baptism, we are open to new possibilities and miracles in our life. Hope allows us to overcome discouragement and despair in our lives. When we have hope, we are inviting God to do a new work in us, especially this year. And when we consider the pandemic and all the trials in our lives, we sometimes wonder, can we really experience the Lord this year? Messages in Christ, as we look at the reading today, Jesus came to give hope. Jesus, in the reading, was healing the man with the withered hand, but he faced strong resistance from the religious leaders. Because of their mindset, they were not open to what God wanted to do in the midst of them. And Jesus was angry and grieved at the hardness of their hearts. Best sisters in Christ, do we have a hardened heart? What does it mean to have a hardened heart? It means to have that kind of resistance to God's work in us. It means that we have a certain kind of stubbornness. God is speaking to us. God wants to do something in us. But we just do not want to be open. In the Old Testament, we see in the book of Exodus, when God wanted to set his people free from Egypt, Pharaoh was resisting to let the people go. And God did many plagues, sent many signs to Pharaoh to tell him to let the people go. But he was hardened in his heart. He held on to his position. He did not want to let the people go. He was not open to change. And later when the people of Israel went into the desert when they left Egypt, and when they began to face difficulties and trials when there was not enough water or food, they began to grumble and complain. And God told them, do not harden your heart. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, when we go through painful experiences, we can tend to harden our hearts, meaning we refuse to believe in God's love. We refuse to believe that God is in our midst. And so today, as we think of the Word of God today, let us open our hearts to the Lord. This year, God wants to do something new in our hearts. But let us be open to all the miracles that God wants to work in us.